Ladies and gentlemen, do you like a dog or do you like a cat? Dog. 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 <laughs> For me, the dog was the cutest, the most adorable animal in the world. So I love dogs so much. When he was happy, he will kiss you, he will hug you. When you are sad and lonely, he will be with you as the best friend and family. But the cat is different. For them, we are a human being. We have to serve them, to honor them, unlike Doraemon. <laughs> uh, in, in, in Taiwan, many people believe that cat has nine lives. When they will die, their spirit will, will come to those who were not nice to them when they are alive, to fix them, to torture them physically and mentally. Because of those, I didn't like cat at all. But one day, Queenie invited me to her house to interact with her cat. My viewpoint about cat has been transformed. Today, I'm going to show you how I become a cat lover from a dog lover. But a long, long, long time ago, when I was studying in, in primary school, my dad was doing the seafood business, so it's really common to cook a lot in the kitchen. As a result, it's really common to see cockroach and mice walking around. Looks so scary. Because of that, my father was determined to have a cat to murder all those things. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, but when I saw my cat was having a meal because he has a beautiful tail, the white color, a skin has really beautiful skin with white color. So because of the attraction, I was attached by his skin. So therefore, I grabbed his, I grabbed his tail, and later on, he used his hand and scratched my hand. And then I cried so hard because of that experience. I didn't like cat at all. But uh, one day, the president, TGRF president, Queenie, she wrote me the message. Alex, would you like to interact with my cat? I was thinking, you want me to take care of the cat? <laughs> so I asked, I asked her, would you like to would you like me to take care of your cat? Yes. What? Taking care of a cat? I hate so much. <laughs> but she was so nice. She always supported me a lot. She always gave me great advice when I feel sad and lonely. In order to not to disappoint her, I said yes. One day, she invited me to her house to interact with her cat, Shadow. But uh, I was so afraid. She wanted me to she, she gave me the cookie in order to feed Shadow, but I was so nervous. In order to not to be scared, I, I concealed my eyes and, uh, and I gave it to her. And my hand was shaking a lot. <laughs> and she said, Alex, stop it. You will figure out. Just do it gently. So uh, I just gave, I just, I just gave, gave my, the cookie to Shadow. Gently and slowly, and later what happened? He kissed me. It was my first time to be kissed by the cat. So therefore, my heart had been melted. So it's hard for me to be kissed by the cat during my journey of the, of of interacting with cat. And then the then the Queenie and Paul just showed me like, like how to. Where I can, how can I fix uh, the shadow's food, like, or sand, or, or water, something like that. I thought, it's easy, I can fix it within an hour. But uh, when they came to South Africa, and it took me more than four hours to fix the whole thing. Why? I remember the first day, I went to Paul's house, and the, the shadow just came to me, he mailed me to me, and, I didn't know what's going on. And then I just touched his skin and then he directed me to his chest here. And I thought maybe he needs massage. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then when I massaged him from, from his chest, and then he was he was he, he feels so comfortable he, with his he closed his eyes. But then later on when my friend was so sore, he opened his eyes, meow back, meow 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 for three times. And, uh, and I said, you want me to 
massage for you, massage for you, okay? Yes. And just meow, meow, meow. Yes. <laughs> and always your partner, meow, yes. And later on, when I was tired and I was laid up on the sofa, the shark water came to me and slid on my chest. It's like there's a pillow here. <laughs> it was so comfortable. So, I always encourage you to have a cat because you feel uncomfortable. From the experience of being hurt by the cat when I was scratched by my, by my cat, to the time I was invited by Queenie to take care of the shadow and kiss by shadow, I found out that cat is not as evil as many people think. <laughs> Sometimes we make judgment, we, we, we make any judgment before we experience it. So, from the experience I learned is sometimes don't make any judgment to quit it until you, you experience it. So, now, now, let me tell you, I'm the cat lover over the dog. Hear me. Yeah.